every vessel, through every ears, O oh God. Thank you, O oh God. We acknowledge your presence. We acknowledge your power. We acknowledge you, O oh God, in this nation. O oh, Papa Nguni, O oh God, and we are blessed because you are speaking through your servants. And we want to say thank you one more time and come in this service back to your hand, O oh God. You take the lead. You are the driver. You are the pilot. You are the captain of the ship. We're going to go through the sailing waters. We will go through the waves, the current uh, that is flooding. I believe, Holy Spirit, you will take charge. Heaven, you will take charge. Power, take charge of every life of God. Thank you. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and all the saints of God may agree and say, Amen. Thank you. You may be seated in the heavenly places. Hallelujah. God is good. God is good. Yes. God is good. We are the witness. We are the evidence of this grace. We are the evidence of the word of God that is being preached through the servants of God into our lives. And I believe this is the word is performing miracles in our lives. We can see healing is coming in the times of sickness. We can see deliverance is coming. We can see our answers being put up in the table. Our answers, our prayer that is being offered to God. Our request that is placed. Order that has been placed. Now God is saying from waiting list to saving list. We are going to be served and our answers are coming. Get excited because tonight I believe God will speak to the nation of Papua New Guinea. Wherever you are tuning in from, I want to bring this greeting from Taroma Valley, City of Glory Church, Port Mosby and CDC, two nations, Highlands region, Momase, Southern region, New Guinea Highlands, wherever you are tuning in. I believe God will speak to you tonight. Hallelujah. Give a clap offering to God for what God is doing in this nation. Before I say the word of God, I'd like to acknowledge God, the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit for all things become possible. Without God three in one, I would not be standing here preaching like this. Without God in my life, I'm not qualified to stand before the nation. It is by God, it is by grace that has enabled me, my weakness are turning into strength to speak to the nation. Therefore, big name and honor, glory, go back, Lord, Papa God. Pity one black hand, Lord God, Lord, this is the time. Behind the spiritual God, God will have to use a physical man. As an ambassador to touch the nations, whatever there is in the spirit must be translated to the physical body. And I just want to thank you, Papa Dr. Dian Ware, for giving me this space to speak to the people of Papua New Guinea through the radio waves, through all the social media platforms. I believe this is the time and season of sons to rise up and take the position and declare the name of Jesus from the highlands down to the coast, byways and sideways. The power of God will have to manifest in the lives of the people. Hallelujah. I just want to also acknowledge and thank you, the sponsors, who have been faithfully sponsoring this program going on since the day it started. M. Kamosem, I believe what you have done for the extension of the kingdom of God will not be a waste, but an investment. Your investment, I prophesy, it will come with capital plus, interest plus, Everything that you have spent, I pray for miracle will come upon your account. Your miracle will come upon your family. Your miracle is coming. You receive it in the name of Jesus. And thank you once again, everyone who have turned up. Even though program may missed up, you committed time now. You come Lord, this is tonight. Miss our God by speak Lord, I bring you me Lord, this is the time. Give a hand to the Lord one more time. Nation of Papua New Guinea. Get excited because God is about to do a great thing. Eyes have never seen, ears have never heard, 
whom God has predestined for a peculiar generation. I know been looking yao in obin arem. It has been a vision to some generation, but it is reality to this generation. We are living a life that people have seen visions, but those visions and prophecies being prophesied now is coming to fulfillment, and we are the ones who will make the word happen in this nation. Hallelujah. Big black head topic. And we start sons movement as team. As we move Lord this time in the season, God, the Spirit of the Lord, is speaking through his servants. And God has touched the nation through his word. And our topic, and now the move we are trying to tap into is, is the sons movement. There is a movement taking in the church. When it got house in the public, there's going to be miracle revival. It's going to be a lifestyle. There is a sons movement rising. They have been formed and give birth in the church. They are born with this aggressive spirit to fight against corruption, fight against bribery, fight against the forces of this world. They are going to come out and say, this is the time, this is the moment. God is about to do new thing in this place. Hallelujah. I believe the sons move as we are moving. God has spoken through the man of God. He has laid some foundation upon the foundation. I'm going to say a scripture. I'm going to touch a topic. This topic is going to be called shaking in this nation. S-H-A-K-I-N-G. There is a shaking take place in the nation. There is a shaking taking place in the government. There is a shaking taking place in the religion. There is a shaking taking place in the mountain of politics. There is a shaking taking place in the mountain of the family. Seven mountains. There is a shaking taking place as we are experiencing it. You may look him lo nispeba. You may look him lo hype lo yumi. You may harem lo nispeba. Some things that Papua New Guinea not been experiencing before. The nation is going to a time and a season of shaking every process. Shaking every department. God is shaking every moment in this time. Hallelujah. So shaking am come up. Amo chapter 3 verse 7 am talk about Before God does anything concerning a nation, God will have to speak to his servant. God must talk talk long, prophet long and past time. Before long, God walking walk long am nation. Hallelujah. God will not intervene in the affairs of man without the permission of man. Because God has given this earth to man. God has to come to Papua New Guinea. God must speak through the prophets. God must speak through the apostles. God must speak through the vessels that he has ordained to carry the message of God and speak to the people of this nation. Hallelujah. And I believe the man or woman of God, a seven, will have to rise up and speak the mind of God. Whether the government lacks it or not, whether money lack him or not, Satan lack him or not, Mary lack him or not, the word of God is purified seven times. It has to go through. It has to go through. It has to go through the mountains. It has to go through situations. Ezekiel chapter 3. Verse 17 to 19, and to Hashem, God spoke to Hezekiel and said, Son of man, I have made you a watchman from the house of Israel. Whenever you are from, whenever you hear from my mouth, you shall give them warning from me. If they say to the wicked, you shall surely die, you give him no mercy. No speak to warn the wicked from this way in order to save his life. That wicked person shall die for his iniquity, but his blood I will not require to him. But if you warn the wicked, he does not turn from his wickedness or from his wicked way, he shall die for his iniquity. But you will have delivered your soul. Bible, let me talk long. Ezekiel chapter 31, 70 to 90, let me talk awesome. You man block God as a man of God in this nation. You have to prophesy when God tells you to do something. When God tells you to say something, do not hold back the direction that is coming from heaven. You have to speak 
doesn't matter money one bell or you know one bell Sambla something in me one bell or you know one bell it doesn't matter you got to rise up and speak the word of god speak the word of god speak the word of god into the places where it needs the attention of the word of god so i believe god has spoken to ezekiel natogosem you speak to the people if they hear from it and they repent from their wickedness their soul will be saved but if you don't notify them you are in problem hallelujah so i believe we don't fear of favor when god says speak to the government i'm ready to speak to the government when god says speak to the my people i'm ready to speak to the people god says outreach i'm ready to do outreach god says go to the hospitals i'm ready to go to the hospitals we don't fear of favor we're going to declare the power of the word of god to the nations there is boy in the name of There is boy in the name of God is now issuing the warning signs in the churches God and Wogler issuing warning signs in the churches God is now showing you me warning sign if you make him this la this la something but come up suppose you to meet on no gallo you make him this la you make him this la result but come up God is now issuing the warning signs in the church church if our ignorance and because him now you mean no hard and warning sign now continue to make him seem something the danger is coming the danger is coming the fall of man is coming god will have to label each church and say do's and don't these are the things you do these are the things you don't do god is issuing his warning sign the precaution signs the hand of god is already on the wall writing judgment has already begun in the churches god is coming down he is no longer in heaven he has come down to papua new guinea if god can come down i believe it's the time of separation from wicked generation through righteous generation a ship nation from god nation great things are going to get birth for in this place we have to analyze me blama looks our low warning sign where god am issue him church for instance time you look him cambridge packet cambridge packet all months of a smoke all sawe good time you look him cambridge packet underneath lo cambridge packet one blow warning sign but go same smoking causes cancer smoking causes cancer the very warning sign here m stop long label blong cambridge pick it there all man noting him they forgot the warning sign they smoke continually causes cancer Ooh, hallelujah the very warning sign has been prescribed to you on the label and say smoking causes cancer yet people are smoking and have cancer God is now saying if you hit this fruit you will die the warning sign was already labeled yet they chose to hit the fruit I believe every instruction God is giving today concerning this nation you blessing is in the instruction that God is giving you your healing is in the instruction God is giving you your breakthrough is in the instruction God is giving you your breakthrough is in one simple instruction if you can obey that instruction you will experience a flood of blessing flooding your life like never before so god is issuing warning signs when you drive a car there are certain warning signs when the oil is running out oil long this la board but also am oil and finish so this la sign but talking will put him oil Time break him loose. Sign by talking you break bagger up. Time battery bagger up. Sign by talking you battery bagger up. You need to replace a new battery. Church, the signs are already ticking in the board. The hand of the Lord is already on the wall writing. Something is happening in this nation. You got to listen to this word and obey every instruction. When you obey every instruction, the blessings will be found in Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight. 
the blessings of obedience. Seek no napkamia, worry no napkamia, challenge no napkamia. You are going to be the son, a warrior, a conqueror. You are going to rise above your limitation. You are going to rise above your boundaries. You are going to rise above every weakness. For God will make you a champion. God will make you somebody. Even you thought it's impossible. God can make it happen. With God, all things are possible. I like to share three things on the topic shaking. Now God is doing the shaking. And you got to understand the rama. You hear this letter, but he, you receive the rama. The spirit of the word must give you life. Nation of Papua New Guinea, as we go through these times and season, I've been praying, me been praying, Sabna. God and me talk to them, what is happening today, I'm causing a earthquake. Me cause him this nation of shake. Shake long, wake him, you me help, get up him, you me shake long, make him, you me do him something. We thought we could not even do it because of the shaking. Some things that we're going to encounter is supernatural. Hallelujah, he's supernatural. So, Agai chapter 2, verse 6 to 9. Now, you read him, Lord, verse 20 to 23. For this is what the Lord of hosts says. Once more in a little while. I will shake the heavens and the earth. The sea and the dry land. I will shake all the nations. And they will come with all their treasure. And I will fill this house with glory. Says the Lord of hosts. The silver is mine. The gold is mine. Declares the Lord of hosts. The latter glory of this house will be greater than the former, says the Spirit of the Lord. And this is the place I will provide peace, declares the Lord of hosts. By the man of our God, hallelujah. Agai 2, chapter 6 to 9, and the Lord has spoken to Agai the prophet. Now concerning the nation, and the I will once again shake the foundations of the nation, and the I will shake the foundation of the dry land. I will shake the foundation of the sea. I will shake the nations. But me shake him nation. But me shake him over something. When I shake them up, what will be the spoil? The spoil and towards them. The wealth, the resources, the gold, the silver. That is in the hiding place. That is in the enemy's territory. When I shake the nations, those wealth will come. Those wealth will come. The wealth will come. They will come to a nation where it is predestined for the glory invasion. The shaking of this nation is for the resources will come together under a chosen leadership. Oh, hallelujah. By the man of God. There is a shaking place in the government. There is a shaking place in the justice sector. There is a shaking place in the business sector. There is a shaking place. I'm telling you, people here, all man supply position that's all. All no sleep good here. All no keke good here. Something have come up here. Sabla, sabla, something come up in the hole. They can't even they can't even think properly. You think they are driving I I class five door? Hallelujah! And they are driving all kinds of car. From five to ten seater to bus to what's next? <laughs> Motorbike to bicycle, all kinds of transport. <laughs> they will drive and drive and drive. But when you open their five doors and when you look inside of their car, Marasin pull up. People are not okay. People are ruling the positions, but the sickness is still touching them. What is still holy mall? Challenge will all feel me yet. I believe. Uh, the healthiest life is to be in the presence of God. Time you stop the presence of God, you're gonna be happy. You're gonna be rejoicing. You Bahama must over the time. Rejoice over the time. Have you seen a dog possessing a kundu card? 
you be looking one blood dog game carry me sb card or not bsb card have you seen a fish asking you for a car <laughs> you looking fish fish does not need a car fish doesn't require a bank card fish doesn't need a house fish doesn't need a shoe fish doesn't need a merry blouse Hey, 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 fish doesn't need anything. Fish only needs one thing. And but waraya, give me water and I will survive. You give me water, that's all I need. You give me water, that's all I need. If you want to kill a fish, remove his water. If you want to save a fish, send water inside the pond. Let the fish start swimming. Let the fish start swimming. I'm telling you, break danger now. You blow animal of fish here. This break danger. You know, you blow animal fish. Hallelujah. You blow photo of him, blow fish, and you blow make him stop. Suppose you roast him fish here, and die in a silly side. You put him fish, low water, and make him one him. Hallelujah. Break this long aim old man line him and now I'll break this stuff. And done this blow fish here. When the fish is in the water, cut a sub or cut no stop, him no so worry. Cut a sub or cut no stop, him no so worry. Money stop and money no stop, him no so worry. Sub is stop or no sub, it doesn't matter. When the fish is in the water, start jumping, hallelujah. Do something the fish has never done before. When you look at a dog, dog will never complain about anything. Have you seen a dog complaining about yeah, you greedy man? You say you get you get you get now you say game boom lo meter so. You will never hear a dog complaining about bones. Whether he hit, I mean no keke or I mean no keke. You rouse him or you rubbish him, him. You spit him or you write him, him. As long as he's a dog, he was born for security. Dogs were born for security. They are calling in life is to protect your house. <laughs> oh, hallelujah! Fish all born. Dog was born to protect your house. How many times you spat on him? How many times you say stupid words to the dog? How many times you kick him out? He's gonna still come back to you. Hallelujah! Praise God. Dog is a greatest forgiver. If you want to forgive and you can't find an example, find dog. You do everything, they will still come back to the owner. They are the most forgiving animal in the earth. Oh, come on, get excited. God is raising a generation who will forgive. God is raising a generation who will march to the parliament, who will march to the seven mountains and say, This is the moment, this is the hour the sons will have to take back. What the enemy has stolen. There is a shaking in the justice sector, shaking in the courtroom. If you don't know, I'm a lawyer. I'll be graduating very soon. I know what I'm saying. There is a shaking in the department. There is a shaking in the department. There is a shaking in the university administration staff. There is a shaking when God shakes it up. I'm telling you. Something stop here, Ember stop here. Something no God, no God, Ember rouse him here. Now is the time of cleaning process. There we pray in the name of. Uh, cleaning taking place. In the high places. Hallelujah. God has spoken to Jerubabel. Jerubabel, the Lord's sickness ring. For the second time, the day, the 20th. 24th day of the month, the word of the Lord come to Haggai, saying, Tell Jerubbabel, governor of Judah, that I am about to shake the heavens and the earth. I will overthrow the royal thrones, destroy the power of the kingdoms of the nations. I will overturn chariots and their riders, horses and their riders will fall, each by the sweat of his brother. On the day, declares the Lord of hosts, I will take you, my servant, Jerubbabel, the son of Shittiel, 
declares the Lord, I will make you like my signet ring. For I have chosen you, declared the Lord of hosts. Hallelujah. Give a hand to the Lord. God said to Agai concerning this nation and told him, Jerubbabel, the governor of Judah, and told him that awesome, I'm about to shake this nation and talk. I'm about to shake heavens and the earth. Now me ready to overthrow him royal thrones. Some Lord stand up now, all things was him all working good now. Corruption money now, bribery money now, bargain people now, let's bless him royal life belong all here. I'm about to shake all this throne and doors. I'm about to shake every house that is built on a corrupt money. I'm ready to shake their throne. Hallelujah. I'm ready to shake the houses, the car, everything that has been built on wicked ways will be shaken, will be overthrown. Everything that is not supposed to be there will be removed. I will remove the horses with their riders. But me rouse him also on them ride up long them. And many more say, who said man sablo pride here? But me rouse him all opposition them to us. Pride people will not live long. They will not occupy a position. Big name, big mouse. Me stop now country balance. Me stop now you play stuff. This like I talk about finish. There is a generation rising up. Will take back what the enemy has stolen. I'm going to remove high places. And I'm talking to Jerubbabel, the governor, and I told him, you're going to be my signet ring. Hallelujah. When you look at signet ring, what is a signet ring? Signet ring and one blood ring will hold testament of ancient days. All king, all royals are wearing this like king uh, 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 ring. They used to wear this ring. It's not ordinary ring. And one blood tribal ring where I'm got face block king, na queen, sub in cello ring. Some blood time was an initial block, name block king, na queen, sub in So time all like Sally, one blood letter called Narbla country. All by sign him, all by put him glue. Now all by sign him on the one him. Signet ring. Stamp it. Stamp it. Stamp it. I believe there is a remnant rising. God will make them a signet ring. There is a remnant rising in this nation. God will make them a signet ring. When they approve it, it shall be approved by the government. When they say no, it shall be nullified by the government. What they say, it's going to be the law. They're going to be the lawmakers of the land. They're going to reconstruct and rewrite the constitution. I believe a generation rising up, a remnant is, will be granted the power of a signal ring. God by giving this power of a signal ring here. You do corruption, stop, and stop. You don't know what, and the will come up. Hallelujah. The power to bind, power to loose, power to close, power to open. Matthew 16, 7 and 18, Revelation 3, 7, Isaiah 22, 22, What you bind shall be bound on earth, what you loose shall be loose in heaven. Hallelujah. Time you don't know what the sanguma, witchcraft practices, time you don't know what the corruption, whatever the church is saying, whatever the remnant enemy talk, that shall be the law of the land. And that's all but come up of this nation. I believe that remnant will carry the authority of God once they declare a thing, he shall be done in the high places. He shall be done in the departments. He shall be done concerning the nation. Hallelujah. So God is shaking the foundations of this nation. God is shaking the foundation of the Christianity. God is shaking the foundation of a preacher. God is shaking the foundation of mothers. God is shaking... The foundation of educated being. Oh, God has something, the foundation here. God shake him. When you see a tall building, the higher that the building goes up, is a level that it goes down. Foundation is important for Stanley Hotel. When you see Stanley Hotel, you see the splendor, the magnificent glass, everything that has been built on. But no man knows how many concrete we used to lay the foundation. Hallelujah. No one of the money is away. This is how you stop. Foundation. I must have cement been waste. I must have 
Wakman bin Wakim Disla. Foundation which goes down, we can't see what is in it. But we only see what is up there. It is determined by the level you go down, is the level you go up. Foundation is very important. God is asking the people of Papua New Guinea, where your life is built on. Life long you, you walk him, life long you long want him something. If our foundation is a car, God will test the car. God will shake the car. If your life is built on money, God will shake your money in the account. Some of you will experience the next time you have the amount there, but the next moment your amount is gone. God is shaking the foundation of your account. If your life is built on the pleasure things, house, car, money, God will have to shake all these things. You think tire broke now, you fix him tire and no one spark light broke. You straight the spark light and no one break loose. God is testing the foundation where your heart is. Hallelujah. You shall put him level or begin it as all. God will use the sons to test your foundation. Where is your life built on? Hallelujah. Label you. You walk him on one foundation. You may walk him on a survey. God will test our degree to the extreme. Where our life is. And I'm telling you. God has also tested my life. As a testimony. When you see. Not a plus something in one minute. But one plus something. So I will stop the level of God. And I touch him this level of me. And I will shake him up. The word of God in the next one is my mom. Has been the foundation in my life since then. Because from day one till up now, she, is, she has been the one feeding us. She has been the one looking after us. She has been the one protecting us. For my heart, I am connected with my mama. The time God and me talk shaking here, I thought the shakings will happen some way. But the shakings came into my heart. Hallelujah. God will test us condition of your heart God will test the condition of your heart if your heart is full of pride your mouth will speak what is in the heart if our heart is full of politics <laughs> all you will say politics 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 preaching blow you to politics hallelujah everything is politics if your heart is full of lust Story of merit as all hook it up. If your heart is full of pride, me stop na country balance, me stop na house balance, me stop marry you who sight. God will have to come down and stick us, shake every foundation, shake every foundation, remove what is not of God, and place what that is of God. When my mom went through hospital. I felt something I've never felt before. All to was him. Can't say I'm a kissing body blong am. I'm spread penis. It's too late. But I told the doctor. You risk it again. Because every cancer. But this time. Will be evaporated by the grace. Hallelujah. And you know what happened. After the scanning. When the scan photos came back. Doctor said. Everything in the womb and in the large and the small intestines, cancer disappeared. God is a God of miracle. God is a God of power. God is a God of blessing. When I'm something here, I am hard Lord God Lord, make him Lord life here. Cancer is not big. God is bigger than cancer. Oh, hallelujah. By the man, the power of God. Situation you face him is not bigger. Your God is bigger than your situation. Oh, hallelujah. Papa Nguyen, whatever you are facing, you stop the numbers now you face him. You stop the highlights now you face him. You stop the morobe now you face him. You stop the mosque now you face him. It doesn't matter where you are. Your God is bigger. Your God is mightier. Your God can do things no man can do. No one blow money, no blow making me a God blow you, so we make him here. Tell somebody next to you, your God is the God of possibility. He's a miracle working God. He's a powerful God. He's a blessed God. 
He's a performer of miracles. He's a performer. He's a mighty God we are serving. So I'll be speaking on three points. I'll be very brief. Why is God shaking the foundation? Why God am I shaking this last something? And why am I making three plus something? Number one, God is shaking the foundation to test the foundation. God is testing the foundation. Hallelujah. If your life is built on merry blouse, your merry blouse will be stolen. <laughs> <laughs> if your life is based on a money, silly kirabia money where money where money where the money that now you are treasured will be gone out of the window. Car where car where the car will have caused a problem. God is shaking the foundation to test where your heart condition is. Hallelujah. If you treasure one thing and forgone the very prime of life. The word of God, fellowship of the word of God, prayer time. I believe God will have to shake us to wake us up to realize the importance of life. There is born in the name of. One time Abraham was sitting at the door. He was watching his son. Isaac is the only begotten son. He is the only Isaac. There is no three, four, five, six Isaac. He's the only one. So Abraham claimed Isaac is Lewa Blongem. Lewa comes here and Leah. Lewa, you like again one name. Lewa, you dress up in Isa. Lewa, you was in Isa. Lewa, you sleep in Isa. Abraham am concerned long. Isaac does only and oh, stop, stop. Make him Muslim, make him Muslim, make him Muslim. But one time God came and said, Give me your Lewa. <laughs> God came one time and said, Abraham, you have said Lewa to your son for the rest of you supposed to give me time. Now I'm gonna test your foundation. Give me your lewa. When Abraham presented his lewa on the sacrifice of lamb statue, a place we call Mount JJ. Jehovah Jireh. When Abraham laid his son on a mountain of prayer, that's where the glory come. That's where blessing and go on up. That's where the provision appeared. Hallelujah. I believe God is shaking the foundation to clean the church. Amber clean him church. Now Amber walk him glorified church belong Amber stand up. Hallelujah. Who is your foundation? Bible says 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 11. For no one can lay a foundation other than which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. We have to lay our life on our bedrock. The foundation of whole foundation, sure foundation, his name is Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. He is the foundation of your life. Suppose I blow you and stand up and up, Lord Jesus, the rock here. Lexan seasons will not change you. Seasons will never change you. Oh, hallelujah. Whatever that is happening in the country will not alter you not change you because you are unchangeable in the times of changeable you are immovable in the times of movable no man can remove your position because your foundation is sure foundation which is christ the rock the salvation christ the rock he is the salvation when peter said you are the son of god sent forth to redeem mankind jesus said to peter upon this revelation I build my church upon that rock. I build my church, and no gates of hell will prevail against it. Hey, gate of hell, no not prevail in this la church where Bami son of him. Church where Bami son of him. No one wants to worry in Ablo Shaky Mam. No one wants to seek in Ablo Shaky Mam. No one wants to situation in Ablo Shaky Mam. Because the church is built on the sewer foundation called the Christ, the rock. Hallelujah. By the man of Papa God. You read Isaiah chapter 28, verse 16. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 11 to 13. Matthew chapter 7, verse 24 to 27. It reads, Everyone that knew he is these words of mine, and thus them will be like a wise man 
who built his house on the rock. And the rain fell, and the floods came, and the wind blew, and beat the house, but it did not fail, because it had been founded on the rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and the beat against the house, and it fell, and the great was the fall of it. Hallelujah. Those who hear my word and build his life according to the instruction given are going to be called the wise builders. Wise master builder. They're going to build their house not on a sand, but on a rock. Rain came, flood come, but they will not be shaken because house blow all sun up and double rock. Who said money I don't talk now, holy no make him. Rain bakam, flood bakam, but I'm stablos waisania, I'm wara bakarimisi, I'm go down. God is now testing the foundation of the churches. God is now testing the foundation of leadership. God is now testing the foundation of government. Who is the credible leader? Who, is, who has the credibility? A test to be proven to be the leader of the next generation. God is in the business of proving and testing. God in the business of shaking up. And eventually, the wise man who built on a rock will be stand still. But a foolish man who built his house on a sand will be removed. Hallelujah. Church of God, Papua New Guinea, as you are hearing this voice, try and see where is the foundation that is built upon. If your life is not built on the word of God, if our life is not built on the, the, the Bible verses, if our life is not built on the fellowship, if our life is not built the way it's supposed to be built on, I believe the flood is coming, it will take the church away. And but our church is going to side. And our life is going to side. We have to stand up and build our foundation, which is our foundation in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. By the man of our God, our foundation will be tested also by fire and water. Hallelujah. When you see the swords, when you see a painter, when a painter paints a house, the, when you ask a painter and say, what is the sign that shows that painting the house is complete? Painter Batoki Minato Hoshem, when I see myself reflected on the wall of the paint, that's the time I knew it's complete. So I was in paint going on Facebook and not reflect the wall and but paint it. The painter will still continue to paint until his face is reflected on the wall. Likewise to the blacksmith. Blacksmith also walk him sword. Over Salim sword, go of water. Over Salim go of fire, sword. Go of water, fire, water, fire, water, fire. At the end of the day, sword man. So God, Smith by looking this land at time and scale him. This last word, the sword and reflecting face long him. And Savios and sword is complete. Hallelujah. God will have to put us through tests, trials, temptations will come. We will have to go through all these processes until the image of God reflected on your life. The image of God must be reflected in your life. If God did not see his image through you, he will still give you fire. He will still send you through water. Hey, me go to water here, in up here. God will sell me go to fire. Me go to fire, in up here, and by telling me go to water again. And by fighting you again. And by selling you again. It's all for the purpose of the reflection of the image of himself. I believe whatever test you are going through, whatever situation you are going through, maybe it's a family problem, maybe a financial crisis, maybe a sickness that is hovering and attacking your family. You go through a similar situation, Lord, I you. I believe God is putting you through fire and water. You be patient. You be patient. You be patient because those who wait, good things will come to those who wait. Good plus something but come up, Lord, who said they wait and stop. Hallelujah. Blessed is the one who wait upon the Lord because he will renew his strength and he will fly like an eagle. He will move like an eagle. He will soar like an eagle. Strong blow, finish. 
strong play young man by finish strong play young man Mary by finish but who says our weight lap of God over renew strong long all now over flyer problem all but go go down at all same Say bye bye to your problems. Say bye bye to your sickness. Say bye bye to your limitation. Say bye bye to all your weaknesses. Because God is about to lift you up high above the nations, high above limitation, high above boundaries. You are going to be the one at the top. When you, God makes you the head, you're not going to be the tail. Say bye bye to all these things. Hallelujah. We're going to be rise above every limitation. Come on, begin to prophesy. Begin to declare. This is my time. This is my healing. Yeah, this is the moment that I shall encounter what God is taking in my life. That's the first point. Number two point. God is shaking us to wake us up. I'm just thinking if God is not shaking the foundation I don't think the church will went into heaven prayer. If Peter was not in prison, I don't think the church will went into heaven prayer. The heaven prayer was over to God because of a situation that allowed them to pray without ceasing. Oh, hallelujah. Certain situation must come up. Lo kirap him church lo prayer. When God sees that when the church is going to sleep, when the nation is going to sleep, what we're supposed to do, we are not doing it. God will allow situations to come our way. God will allow them situations to come. So that the spirit of the spirit will come. The spirit of the spirit prayer will rise because Peter was in prison in Acts chapter 12. Hallelujah. Let us pour in the name of God is waking us up. Church of Papua New Guinea, this is the time and the season of prayer. Prayerful life is a powerful life, like Dr. Martin Monroe said. When you pray, you will live a powerful life. When you look at Matthew chapter 26, verse 40, Jesus and the three disciples, John, Peter, and James, they went to prayer in a garden called Gethsemane. Time only pray, start. Jesus said, Go, and I'm talking about uh, three blood disciples of prayer. When Jesus returned, he saw Peter was sleeping, snoring away. He couldn't pray. Jesus came at one o'clock in the morning. He woke up Peter and said, Peter, pray. Pray so that you will not fall into temptation. Jesus knew that temptation was coming. That's why Peter was waking up to prayer. Peter got up and said, Oh, Abba Father, thank you, thank you, thank you. And he slept. He went back to sleep. Jesus came back the second time. At 3 o'clock a.m. Peter, wake up and pray. Because you will not fall into temptation. Your spirit is willing. But your flesh is weak. Peter woke up. He prayed for one minute, three minutes. Slumber spirit came again. He went back to sleep. Jesus came in at 5 o'clock a.m. Morning, morning. I'm get up and woke up. But, oh, Peter, are you still sleeping? The enemy is at the door. Enemy will come and hold him. Peter, Jesus finished. All I kiss him, I'm going to crucifixion. Peter got up and took one sword and he cut off one of the soldiers here. And cut him off. Not also. Jesus, me start no I'm a man, but I'll you me. <laughs> Jesus said, This is like something, but come up, so me talking, you prayer. Now you know, sleep stuff. Now, now you fell in the temptation. Every second, every minute, every hour, church of God. Temptations are coming. High by temptation by calm. Flesh by temptation by calm. Pride by calm. Temptations is every second. But if you can pray, you can overcome temptation. If you can pray, you can overcome lust. If you can pray, you can overcome the lust of the eyes. If you can pray, you can overcome the lust of the flesh. If you can free, you can overcome the pride of life. You're going to rise above limitation. A prayerful life is a powerful life. Hallelujah. A man who prays more. Devil fears a man who prays more. Hallelujah. When you pray five hours and you come for five seconds miracle. Hallelujah. Sometimes we don't pray for five hours. We pray for five seconds and we want to cast out demons for five hours. 
<laughs> oh, hallelujah. By the man of Papa God. The level of prayer you pray, the more prayer, miracle will be done in lesser seconds. If you pray 24 hours, miracle will be done in 24 seconds. Hallelujah. I remember Genesis chapter 18. Hallelujah. When Sarah was waiting upon a promised child for 24 years. But when Angel appeared, one of them got up and said, Because you have looked after us, you have given us hospitality. Now we will prophesy upon your life. This time next year, you're going to give birth to a son. Hallelujah. Then Abraham was like, I receive it. I receive it by faith. But what happened to Sarah? Sarah himself the kitchen at all said, hey, hey, who is this man prophesying? Sarah was loving away in the kitchen while boiling tea. While making some lunch. Sarah was smiling away. You have talk about who said the womb is dry in this year. My womb has been dried up. My labun is labun. Who said the car is beginning again? People have been prophesied upon my life for 24 years. Nothing happened. At one time, another prophet prophesied and said, You're going to give birth, and it did not happen. And I waited another year, and it began two, uh, two years. At five years, one prophet came and said, You're going to give birth to a son, and it did not happen. I waited another 10 years. At one time, another prophet said, You're going to give birth to a son, and 15 years, I waited, nothing happened. At one time, another one came and said, you're going to give birth to a son. And I waited 23 years. Nothing happened. And now you're telling me the same prophecy. Nothing happened. Forget it. But, <laughs> but one of them said, is anything out for the Lord? Is anything out for the Lord, nation of Papua New Guinea? Is a nation can change in a day. Is a nation can change in a day. Yes, it's possible. With God, all things are possible. I believe God will pay you for your patience. You wait now, come here. I prophesy. Some of you waiting 10 years. Some of you waiting 5 years. Some of you are planning to walk now. You know, Christian walk, but I prophesy. Your job is coming. Hallelujah. Your work is coming. Your healing is coming. Your miracle is coming. The power of God is going to work in your life. Some of you have waited for 20 years. Now you have never received your breakthrough. But now hearing this voice, you receive your blessing. Wherever you are, you receive your child. Wherever you are, you receive your blessing. Some of your financial companies are bankrupt. Some of your children are now all drug na sabochet, all bagarap na sabochet. But let me prophesy your prayers that has been sent to heaven has been approved. Hallelujah. It's going to come down in a new way. God is blessing your family. God is restoring your children. God is restoring your job. God is restoring your education, your occupation. God is in the business of restoration. Pity man, Lord Papa God. God is shaking us to wake us up. That leads us to this question. What is a slumber spirit? What is a slumber spirit? Many a times, we Christians by just hearing this word, slumber, we are thinking of sleeping off or dozing off. Hallelujah. Sleep, yeah? But let me explain. Let me tell you what it means. Spiritual slumber is the situation in which believer is weak, weary, and worn out. For instance, he is too lazy to pray, to fast, to encourage, to come on time, to study Bible. He finds it boring to attend service. He finds it boring to attend fellowships in the night. He finds it boring to discuss the things of the God. He takes his time in discussing politics and by interest more long chats reading Bible. Interest long, this love world, and become up more long life blow. You depend on God. That's slumber spirit. When slumber spirit works in inside of the life of a person, and by weakening spirit blow him. Highlight the cutting edge. Time to prayer. 
He will not wake up at the right time. Time to read Bible. He's being occupied by all kinds of situations during the day. Time to attend fellowship. We forget about attending fellowship. When Sunday comes, you get your Bible under the table, collecting dust. <laughs> Remove some dust and you are bringing them in front of the pastor and say, you are a faithful Christian. It should be a shame upon us. I believe God is dealing with the slumber spirit. God is dealing with the slumber spirit. Arise, O daughter of Zion, for your light has come. Your blessing has come. Your healing has come. Arise, O daughter of Zion, for your breakthrough has come. As a 60, where the gross darkness covers the earth. Arise, O daughter of Zion, for your light has come. Arise simply means pray. Pray all the time. Don't you know that Esa prayed three times a day? Don't you know that Daniel fasted for 21 days? Don't you know that David prayed how many times a day? Five times a day, sometimes seven times a day. David is a man of prayer. He's a man who worships God. Time and worship and praise him God. No room like gap long sudden become inside and temptation but go inside. He was a faithful man. He looked after the ship. He was a man of prayer. He was faithful. He did not let slumber spirit to attack his spirit. Because he knew the cutting edge of the spirit will only tackle Goliath down at the time. Goliath become put on because of prayer life and care up. Everything of the enemy in the slumber spirit will come down. There is for in the name of that is for in the name of. Church supposed to be waking up and praying 24-7. Hallelujah. I believe the revival will hit this nation. The catalyst. The chemical. The very prime. Something whereby activating revival of nation. Is none other than a prayer level. Prayer to solve by activating revival of nation. Hallelujah. When Jesus went up to heaven, he gave directions to the ones who were there and said, Go up to the harbor room, pray and wait upon what's next. I believe the day of Pentecost is coming. I believe a revival is coming. 2016, God has given me a dream. I was praying in the mountain. God showed me a dream and I was standing at the shore of Hella Beach. Hella Beach means God literally showed me big stones that were never seen in Hella Beach. Over a big stone I can pull up from Hella Beach long Port Mosby. Time I up, I was asking, this is not small stone, I'm a big stone here. Over a come stop from Hella Beach, all companies. Now, nah, there was a man standing at the back of me. He was saying, I literally am a RM talk long MME. Talk not talk Sam. This Lastonia, M. Savestablo Pacific. Now I'll come long, most people talk. They used to be in the Pacific Ocean. Now, because of the flood, they are now carried offshore and now landed to a place called Port Mosby. Hella Beach. I believe there is a last move. There is a last revival coming that will revive this nation. There is a reason why God preserved this nation from COVID-19. COVID-19 like hitting you here. COVID-19 fret lo you and I'm run away. Papa Nini, me talk so well you. You fret lo COVID-19, COVID fret lo you. Opposite took place. COVID fret name come a flu. That's why time you go to home hospital, you ask him all nurse and doctor, they will give you the report. There is more reported case of flu than COVID. 10,000, 20,000, 50,000 flu reported cases, but less COVID cases. I believe just by entering Papua New Guinea territory, COVID has spoken itself. We are a dead being on arrival. We are a dead being on arrival. No virus has the power to take Papua New Guinea down. No, no, no challenges, no witchcraft, nothing of this enemy will put this nation down. Hallelujah. Even the speakers across the nations 
when they are coming to Papua New Guinea, some of them they are telling, you are going on your death sentence, please sign it off and you go. But I guess because now they are coming, they are saying the most safest place on planet Earth is Papua New Guinea. Because they don't wear masks. COVID is there, but COVID cannot penetrate through them. Their skin is COVID proof. Oh, hallelujah. Their skin is COVID proof. They are bulletproof. They are sagoma proof. They are witchcraft proof. One blood like a muscle, you muscle, like, but I didn't go back now. Muscle, I'm yet. One blood like witchcraft in you, witchcraft, but bunch of back now. Go, I'm yet not also. Miss Salim, you go to Mary. Are you coming back to Tom? Bunch of back will take place. Reflections will take place. Because you are unchangeable. You are made of gold. You are made of the word of God. Nothing can devalue your life. You are priceless for thereof. Hallelujah. Amen. When is it Genesis chapter 6? 8 down 10 and 10. Noah built this ark. The ark was built by a specific material called Gopa Timba. Noah woke him ark here. Emino Timba Ablo Poultry Timba Emusim. Emino Yartri Emusim. Emino Wamda Diwa Ablo Disla World Emusim. Noah used a timba, a special timba was grown for the time of Noah for the purpose of building the ark. By the man of Papa God, hallelujah. There was only one tree. It's called a Gopa Timba. G O P H E. Ah, it's not Gova, it's Gopa. That Gopa Timba is so special. The blueprint of the hack came direct from heaven and said, When you build my hack, you use this material to build the hack. You use him this material to make him. Now, this la Timba and kiss him. Go to him and Timba and the way you must use him. What happened was that when Noah used Gopa Timba, Goba Timba was actually the properties that, that Goba Timba carries is waterproof. Goba Timba is a waterproof timber. So when Noah built the hack, now what I come for 40 days and night, how did Noah and the hack survive all this time? So I was in Palang, nothing here. I'm Wara Bago in Sena Sink here. I'm Goba Timba and I'm survival of 40 days. Goba Timba means waterproof. Water cannot penetrate to the timber. Water touch him does not dry up. Him but bounce back. Goba timber represents the word of God. Tam God he walk him you. Talk he walk him you. Tam talk he send him you. Tam talk he give him life for you. Worry no not affect him you. Challenge no not affect him you. Situation no not affect him you. Because you are built by the word of God. You are bulletproof to any forces of the enemy. Hallelujah. One him enemy like bring him come to life for you. Nothing seems to be working. Because you are proof. God walk in you lo even material. Oh, tell somebody you are made of heaven. You are made of heaven. When you see, when you buy a product, for instance, when you buy a stockman, you see behind the stockman made in USA. When you look at the brand, what product, what public is publicized, by you look him made in China, made in Australia. Made in all these things, but I am all man turning you now. Look him one is any pastor backside made in heaven. Oh, hallelujah! By the man of God, you are made in heaven. When somebody says, You mama, nothing here, you bless mama, talk him, ma'am, made in heaven. Hallelujah! You know a survey, you know a degree, you foul man, just talk him, ma'am, I am made in heaven. <laughs> Oh, I'm not a made of China, Hong Kong, Kong, let me talk. I'm not made of some kind of other country, Portugal or Zimbabwe, Nigeria, whatever name you are calling. I'm made of the kingdom. The kingdom material has constructed me. I'm going to rise. I'm going to speak. And nothing of the enemy by attracting me. And by challenging me. And by downing me. Because you are made of something high quality. Hallelujah. Amen. When you are made of expensive, expensive material, price below you too, but go on top. If you are made of stone, your price is stone level. But if you are made of gold, remember, 
It is the same price as the stone or gold and price different. Gold and momo yet here. Hallelujah. The level of material where you were built on, there's a price tag you carry him long. Oh, hallelujah. By the man of God, Papu Ninguni. Me talk shabalo, you know, worry, walk him, you know, buy you, worry, worry, na sorry, sorry, na dial or sight. You know, some la line on this la hub, walk him, you know, buy you, could curia, curia, na sablo sight. You know, country, you're tumbuna, walk him, you. We all to wamble something, you worry, lo sablo sight. I'm telling you, you product no even here. God woke you here. You worry about something. God made you. You are a bulletproof. You will have said that nothing will change, harm you. Even if you become a holy man, a shooting law, close to range, but it will not affect you. Which crap will be working? Which crap will you? But something will not affect you. Hallelujah. Can can push in become low life will you? But something will not affect you. You can walk up a scorpions. You can drink poison and snake, but nothing will change you. Nothing will kill you. Because life, God woke in you here. Heaven product you sit on. Fight the man of Papa God. You had a product of heaven. Hallelujah. There is power in the name of. You are set for the name of. Therefore, I said 16 to Osem, Arise, O daughter of Zion, for your light has come. When gross darkness covers the earth, Awake means pray. If we don't pray, there is no deliverance for this nation. Acts chapter 12, heaven prayer. Prayer must be continuous. Paul, let me encourage him. Corinthian church, not to awesome. pray without ceasing. Hallelujah. One hour prayer is not enough. Two hour prayer is not enough. We got to keep on praying. Keep on praying until we see what we long to see. Our prayer must bring to our hands. We don't just pray and we live there and focus on another thing. What we aim for. Paul and Mito saying we have a spiritual race. Time he woke him this like race. Me so we go now mark him mark. Time he come to finish mark long him. This like time and price for me, me waiting me. You got to see your destiny. You must not be changed by situation. You must be determined by destiny. Hallelujah. That is for in the name of. Destiny blew you my substrate. When you are praying, you may have to see where you are going. Hallelujah. Genesis chapter 12. God will have to bring Abraham to that mountain and say, See him talk. As far as your high sea, that is the land I'm giving to you. God has given us a prophetic vision. God has given us a vision concerning this nation. PNG will be the first prototype. Kingdom nation, it doesn't matter what NBC me talk, what ABC me talk, what JBC me talk, one and one in media blown world me talk. Papua New Guinea will still be the kingdom nation. Papua New Guinea will be the still the prototype nation. Papua New Guinea will still carry the glory of God to the nations of the Pacific, to the nations of Europe, to the nations of England, wherever the nations are located. Papua New Guinea's sons of this nation will rise up and carry the message of God to the nations of this world. By the man of Papa God, hallelujah. I believe, hallelujah, God has preferred, God has preserved this nation for a special reason. COVID-19, no holy me, me, when we look at the security aspects of our life concerning the nation, we don't have a strong security system. We don't have uh, jet fighters. We don't have uh, hydrogen bomb. We have nothing. We are just down there. We don't even have a satellite. We only borrow. Hallelujah. There is no strong force that will defend the nation from the attack of other nations. I believe God is protecting this nation from the borders of Jayapura. One in my border, I go. God's blood is all over the borders. Christ, the blood of Christ is all over the borders. Blood, blood, Christ, I am surrounded by Papua New Guinea. I am going to Jayapura, I am going to One in my fly, river fly, I blue to fly, Lord Islam. Oh, hallelujah. I am going to Medina, I am going to Morope, I am going to Sipigia. Go inside your head, where I stop. 
What a marble maple of Papua New Guinea. The blood of Jesus has covered this nation. The blood of Jesus has covered this nation. And I believe God has preferred this nation for such a time as this. I believe the home, homemade apostles are going to rise up from this nation. I believe homemade prophets are going to rise from this nation. I believe the fivefold ministry, Bakirablo Disla Nation, according to the prophecy that was done by Dr. Jonathan David, uh, when the fathers hold one stuff, that's when the fire will not quench in this nation. Fire belong revival by putting this nation. Go more yet, more yet, power by more yet. Fivefold ministries are coming. When the five ends are joined together, Psalms 133 and Toshem, based on unity, God commands blessing. Without unity, there is no blessing in this nation. When we see this nation, churches are divided, that's where the nation is divided. When the churches are divided, that's when the leaders are divided. I call upon the nation, be united, see where the vision is, see where the vision is. God has given a vision to a one man, one person, one group. We will seek the vision. And I'm telling you, when we're connected, as the water is streaming out from all the four sources, time will come, boom, one time, there's going to be a mighty force of revival, mighty force of power. And but go down, I'm telling you, corruption will come up, lick, lick, yeah. bribery will come up, lick, lick, yeah. something will come up, big player. It's going to be too small. The anointing of the Lord is going to be bigger then your weakness. Hallelujah. Your weakness is going to be too minute. It's going to be too f little fracture of the whole spectrum. God is talking about our life. Something where you think him hard, yeah. Praise God. Amen. Put him on the power of God. Hallelujah. So when situations are happening in this nation, when we hear about Rapes everywhere. PNG is known for rapists. Rapists are everywhere. Gangs are everywhere. Hallelujah. The Hapro is in the city. This is related to election crisis. And bring him come to constitutional crisis. Court crisis. Cases, cases, crisis. Ogre crisis. Boom, long Nisla nation. Now, to Hossam, Papa Niguni has experienced one of the worst elections in the world. We have experienced one of the worst. We have been known for the most evil thing that has been done in this nation. But let me remind you, hallelujah, they can categorize us, Lord this la box, Lord this la box, Lord this la box. But we believe in the word of God is supreme above every other judgment. Hallelujah. When the word of God says, PNG is going to be the first kingdom nation, it shall come to pass. Time talk from God and me talk. Who said man but stop him? Who said power but stop him? Who said government but stop him? It shall come to pass. By the man of Papa God. It shall come to pass. Number three point. God is seeking the foundation for the glory invasion. God is seeking foundation long. Allow him glory belong God. And take over along this nation. When you look at the Bible, John chapter 12, verse 23, the hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Jesus was talking about his death, the crucifixion of flesh. Hallelujah. When you look at Matthew chapter 27, verse 51 to 55, first veil tore into two. It also relates to Hebrew 9. You can look at it. There was an earthquake rock split and the saints resurrected. This shaking will cause the glorified bodies to walk the earth. Hallelujah. Time Jesus and me like die Lord, you are cross. Amy talk Lord, Lord, talk Lord, blong em, those. Forgive them those who do not know what they're doing. Father, forgive them. Then told them, John 96, it is finished. It is done. Something when come make him here and finish him Lord, you are cross. Now he took his last breath. When Jesus died, Bible say there was a gross darkness. One blood darkness and we cover him this the whole world. And we cover him world. And the next thing happened was there was shaking taking place on the foundations of the earth. One blood shaking come up low foundation low earth. Time this like headquake and we come. Headquake and we go and we go direct to the temple. Bible says 
the veil tall enough. This is a lap lap of a passing God want a man. This is a lap lap of a passing God want them nations. This is a lap lap of a passing God want them. No, the next generations. Bible says the death of Jesus Christ and in broken this la lap lap. Hallelujah. I believe the death of Christ now I'm in Brooklyn, something, something I'm holding you. Then Jesus and me die, and it is finished. It is finished that some of the worries have a hole in blocking you, some of the talents have a blocking you, some of the curse have a blocking you. Lord, look in God, look all the presence of God. I believe the dead of Christ, there was a shaking. Then shaking and me come up, and in Brooklyn, this is a lap lap temple, <laughs> broken in the middle. And let me clear him pathway blow man of God by access. Man and God will live together. The man he cry, Lord God, God by come. And by her and prayer blow man. This la lap lap sabi passing me. It is removed. I prophesy now wicked is removed. I prophesy. Hallelujah. Corruption has been removed. I prophesy bravery is removed. Bravery is our holy mule or kissing walk blow you. Corruption so we make him now some of the position you like kiss him, but corruption so we hold him you and so passing you some a veil. But I prophesy today the Lord will break the yoke of the enemy. I say 10 27. Ember brook him, Ember brook him, Ember brook him, Ember brook him until you access yourself in the presence of the Almighty. There is a headquake by the death of Jesus Christ, and he cause him. Head quick now, I mean, broke him this la barriers of a stop. When I'm God and man, this veil was torn into part. Hallelujah. And the next thing, I mean, come up. Come this la, I mean, finish. Next thing, what happened? Bible says, all the rock is split. Now, all the people who've been died, who said, man, have been dying now, who's up long? Matmatia, die, blow Jesus, time, him die. Who get a kid up? That's the next level we are tapping into. Nation of Papua New Guinea, I believe God is in the business of touching coffin box. There is a shaking taking place. And the Bible tells us, shaking him, he come up, and he broke him, this is a blockage, and he rouse him, this is a blockage, and so he broke him, God wanted a man, time to play a man, time to play fellowship. What happened next? Death of Christ, and he calls him, die man, lock it up. Death raised to life. Death raised to life. It's just like you are sitting here and nine mile cemetery is empty. Just imagine your uncle comes to you, died five years ago. Uncle, five. Who said person up now? Five low uncle. Uncle oh, and fly and take off. That's exactly what happened when Jesus resurrected. And go inside long, disciples stop long, and Jesus appeared flesh to flesh. And they were frightened. Is he a ghost? Him ghost, oh, because this la body we all look him, him crucified, or cross, it's not the same body, it's a glorified body. He's a glorified body, church of Papua New Guinea. He's a glorified body, it's not the same body that was bruised. It was not the same body that was torn apart into pieces. It was not the same body that six inches penetrated through his arms and legs. It was a different body. A glorified body. A new body. A body that will not die. A body that will live long. He one blood life him come here. Time God him take over. This is a flesh by Penicia. Angry blood flesh by Penicia. Angry blood flesh by Penicia. Pride by finish here. Something to enemy by finish here. Spirit by take over. He's a Christ man walking on earth. He kakaruk sweet by finish here. Lamp lamp sweet by finish. Chicken sweet by finish. Sweet long even by momo yet. Even by momo yet. Prayer by sweet yet. Fellowship by sweet yet. Sweet long even by kissing me. I'm on next level. We are moving into a time and a season. Where the flesh will give way and a glorified body will take place. Jesus resurrected on the third day. First day, second day. Him asleep on Matma, third day he was resurrected. Hallelujah. I believe we are moving into a time and season of third day church. 
As I conclude, there is a generation coming when you see the Bible, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 35 to 58. And to Hosem, when you see 51, but let me reveal you a wonderful secret. We will not all die, but we will all be transformed. It will be happen in a moment, in a blink of an eye, when the last trumpet is blown. You will receive an immortal body. Life will stop, stop. All time, all time. Bible him to him, blink of an eye. Many more same. You pass him mine and you open him. And send his come up in his. Hallelujah. I saw you. You are nobody. You are a poor person. But I close my eyes in a blink of an eye. When I open my eyes, you are a rich man. Just in a blink of an eye, you're going to be somebody. You're going to be somebody. In a blink of an eye, you're going to be transformed. We will have a new body that will walk the earth. When a new body with new anointing, with new power, becomes the Prime Minister of Papua New Guinea, imagine the life of the condition Papua New Guinea will live in. Time glorified body, go to Parliament there. Woo, revival by Kirabla Parliament. Hallelujah! Time revival, new blood body go long. Ah, secretary department, new blood body go long. Mountain blood politics, new blood body go long. Mountain blood business. I'm telling you, you just march in. Creations will open. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. The life of a new body, a immortal lifestyle, will begin on planet Earth. There is boy in the name of. You are self in the name of. Nam to Hosem, death. He swallowed up in victory. Oh, death, where is your victory? Oh, death, where is your sting? The last enemy that was defeated was the spirit of death on the cross of Calvary. When Jesus died, he made sure that we have eternal life. Each death has canceled any other death. And I speak to you today. You're going to live long to see mortal nation. You're going to live long to see mortal nation come to form and shape. When somebody tells you you are passing away, tell them I'm staying. Hallelujah. I'm not going away. I am staying to see the mortal nation. Although you mamaya, you lapunia, you badaya, tell them I'm going to live like Simeon. I'm going to see the sun's rising. I'm going to hear the voice of God. I'll be a Simeon. I'm going to see it. I'm going to stay until I see the sons move. Sons move are rising up to take back what the enemy has stolen. Hallelujah. I believe God is speaking to this nation. Wherever you are, there are three important shakings. First shaking is shaking the foundations. You got to lay your foundation on Christ, the bedrock. Second foundation is shaking to wake us up. When you have the foundation of Christ, you have the structure of prayer. Foundation of Christ will help you as a support system, as an assurance, to pray to seek revival. When you pray more, the next shaking is going to be glory shaking. The glory of the Lord will take this nation like the waters cover the sea. And no one will have sin bust up, no one will have corruption bust up, no one will have heavy bust up. Hallelujah. That's all from tonight. Thank you for listening. Wherever you are from Papua New Guinea, from Papua New Guinea, Lo Wanamap Kona, you are on Facebook, through Lodisla, Airwave. I pray God will bless you with this message. With that, let me pray. Hallelujah. Father God, I want to say thank you. Thank you for your power of your word, Lord. Thank you for such a grace. Hallelujah. As your word is spoken in Isaiah 55, verse 10 to 11, your word comes for a reason. Talk blow you shall come, no reason. You got one blood asking thing is stopping the talk blow you shall come. Therefore, I pray today, God, their reason will be fulfilled in the lives of the people, those who are hearing this word of God. Let this word accord in the spirit. Let this word accord in the mind. Let this word accord in their lifestyle of God, in their family, in their business. I pray wherever they're listening to, I pray for your transformation of the word of God. I pray for the relief of the word of God. I pray for the blessing of the word of God. 
as the rain comes on a purpose to water the seed just as your word comes uh, it comes to what our life a life that is born to bring about the purpose of god life that is born to bring about the revival life that is born to do something greater than we're just living oh god i pray today your word has come oh god let the power of the word touch each and every one let the power of the word saturate the places of god saturate the environment hallelujah as i spoken of god the shaking is taking place in a chapter two god you are ready to shake the thrones of the royal thrones god you're ready to shake the horses and the riders uh, the chariot and the riders uh, hallelujah high places uh, wicked places uh, god your shaking is taking place in the government your shaking is taking place uh, in the mountain uh, of business uh, in the mountain of family hearts and entertainment uh, the seven mountain a mountain of religion your shaking is taking place uh, as we your people uh, as we hear your word and we abide uh, by the word of God as we submit uh, according to the instruction that has been prescribed uh, by the word of God I pray today uh, everyone will move according to the word of God everyone will take part uh, their act will not be outside of the word of God but within the word of God and Holy Spirit you are the facilitator you are the initiator you are the facilitator you will facilitate uh, this word into their lives uh, and translate uh, into their family into their business uh, I pray, O oh God, thank you, God, for you shaking every foundation. Hallelujah. Shake the foundation. If our foundation is built on money and pleasure things, if our foundation is built on passing pleasures, O oh God, we repent, O oh God, we surrender, we confess, O oh, Today we declare, you become our foundation. You are the bedrock. You are the rock of salvation. You are the one we build our life on. You are the one we, our life is transpired on. Therefore, I pray today, as the nation of Papua New Guinea is hearing, I pray for your blessing. I pray for your miracle. Come upon each and every one. I want to say thank you. Let this word of shakings. Hallelujah, the three, three, three main important points of God. Let them digest in the spirit of God. As they walk, as they sleep, as they move, oh God, they will move according to the word of God. Thank you, Papa God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Lord, make him all the sending come possible. Me bless him, Mr. Laplace. Me bless him. Hallelujah. Radio wave, Christian. Radio light, let me come stop. Me pray in a committed time, long am. Hallelujah. Commitment, long am. Now, how to rest your station, the management team. Me pray in a committee, come back to humble you. Me pray in a committee team. Hallelujah, the sponsors of the program. God, I pray for your supernatural miracle. Come upon their business, come upon their workplace, come upon their account, come upon wherever the sources are being derived from. I pray for your miracle. Touch upon the sponsors. I pray for a miracle. Come upon the pastors. I pray for the miracle. Come upon the government. I pray for a miracle. Come upon each society. Thank you for everything God you've done in our lives. Uh, we give you glory. We give you praise. Uh, come in this time. Come in this moment. Come in this time. Back to your hands, Lord. We want to say thank you. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name. Oh, God, I pray God, sing out in the talk. Amen. One more time. One more time. You are blessed and you are released. Thank you. Uh, we'll give time for announcements.